Hello and welcome to FS404 Food Quality Management. I'm Dr. Helen Joyner and I am the instructor for this course. In this course we'll be talking about food quality and how to maintain that quality. So let's talk a little bit about quality. People usually equate quality with safety when they're thinking about foods. And this is true. Quality does have a lot to do with safety. For example, you don't want any E. coli in your food or any other microorganisms. If you have a swollen can like the one on the lower left, you're going to think something is definitely wrong with this can. This is not a high quality product in here. Looking at the picture on the lower right, that is actually a screw baked into a roll. That's also a sign of poor quality and poor quality management. You're not supposed to have any physical hazards in your food. But quality doesn't just mean safety. Quality also means consistency. It means it tastes good. It looks good. This is a, an appealing product that I want to purchase and enjoy. So take a look at all of these tortillas. They all look very similar. And so that's a sign of consistency, which is a sign of a good quality product. So keep in mind that with quality, it's not just microbial safety, it's also consistency and a number of other factors that make you want to buy and consume the food. So how do we measure quality? One thing we can do is inspect. So we have an inspector here looking at bottles, maybe he's checking the seal, maybe he's checking to make sure there's no sediment on the bottom, but we can't inspect everything. He's, there's no way he can look at every single one of these bottles before they get shipped out. They'll never get shipped out. It'll take too long. And that's where quality management programs come in. This slide shows a picture of Six Sigma and what the Six Sigma upper and lower specification limits actually do. Six Sigma is a very common quality management program, and we'll talk about quality management programs and their principles in this course. What quality management programs do is basically give you tools to check on the quality of your product, whether it's food or clothing or service, any product really has some quality inherent to it. And so we can use these tools to monitor that quality and make sure it's at the level we want. Some of these tools include Pareto charts. Here we see a Pareto chart of candy with various problems that are considered defects that can occur in this candy. This is a control chart. So we're looking at how the process is producing product over time and we can see points inside and outside the control limits. And when you see points coming outside the control limits or when you see certain patterns, you know that you may have an issue with your product or your process. And we'll talk more about these control charts later on in the semester. Another thing we can do to monitor quality, particularly of our outgoing product, is acceptance sampling. So this chart shows acceptance sampling plans. We've got different plans here that show how many acceptable pieces we have in our lot versus how many defective pieces we have in our lot. And this has to do with probability, and we will also talk later about this later in the semester. Basically, what we're trying to do with all these tools is say, are these two different lots, are these two different pieces the same? So let's take a look at these cookies. If we were going to do some quality inspection on these cookies, we'd say, okay, are these equal? Do they have the same number of pieces in them? Are they the same color? Do they taste the same? Do they have the same microbial count in them? we would use these tools to figure that out. And so these tools would very tell us, as a rapid inspection very tells us, no, they're not the same. The one on the left is a chocolate chip cookie. The one on the right is an oatmeal raisin cookie. But if these were two chocolate chip cookies, we could tell, are they the same thing? Are we producing the same product every time? And that's really the goal of these tools, is to monitor our product, monitor our process, and make sure we're maintaining the quality we want. So we'll be going over all of this information in this course and you'll be applying this information in your project. Again, welcome to the course and I hope you enjoy learning about quality and quality management.